Welcome to Styles by Summer. I am Summer. Today's haircut is the beloved butterfly haircut. And this time I'm switching things up. We're gonna be creating shorter layers with this butterfly cut today. So you're gonna see a lot more movement and texture all through the hair, but we're still gonna maintain that flowy appearance that everybody loves with a butterfly and maintaining that nice body throughout the back. So let's go ahead and get this cut started. Okay, so to get started for this butterfly cut, uh, we're doing a classic middle part. I personally like a middle part for a butterfly cut. I feel like it just kind of is the way it's meant to look. You can adjust it to the side, um, but I like it on the middle. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating lots of shape, lots of movement where you're getting that flowy look that goes from the front to the back to create this body back here. Um, we're gonna wait to determine how much length needs to be removed once we cut our layers. If you had a client who wanted a set amount of length left, um, you could cut that first. But the way I'm doing it today, you still will have length preserved, but you'll remove some as well. So to start off, we're gonna form our first guide. And I'm gonna come in right at a triangle as if I'm making a bang. So right to the edge of that brow, I'm gonna push this back out of the way. And if you watched my original butterfly of this cut, I'm doing this one completely different. I'm condensing it down, making it a little simpler, but you're also gonna see more movement in shorter layers. And in my original one, I did a stationary guide bringing everything forward. This one, we're going to be going around the head in sections, bringing everything up and cutting it to create more of that swoop, more of that flow. And you're not gonna have quite as much weight left in the front and throughout the back. So now that we have our sectioning done for the front, to set our guide, I'm just gonna take my triangle here and I'm gonna bring it straight down and you would determine where it is you wanna cut your length, if you wanna leave it longer, if you wanna go shorter. The shorter you go with this, the more severe of a face frame you're gonna have and the more length removed in the back where if you keep it longer, you're gonna remove a little bit less because this is gonna be the guide for the rest of our layers. So I'm gonna keep her that lip region. So I'm bringing everything straight down and I've got the hair nice and flat here. So coming down, I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna twist it. Twist once, keep it nice and flat, twice. What that's gonna do is it's just gonna help soften this up and makes it easier to match um, the edges for your guide. So I'm gonna come right in at the nose and I'm just gonna point cut into that and I might take this a tad bit shorter once I have it cut. And I'm gonna release that. We're gonna comb it down. And what you'd wanna do is take your edges, line them up center, and nip maybe anywhere that might be off, but usually that helps, gives us, helps give us a great guide. And then you can always stand directly in front of your client as well. We would pull down and see maybe a little bit more right there. And just slightly nip at it. Perfect. So before I start cutting her front, I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna separate it right down the middle. Doesn't really matter what side you start on. I just like to kind of make this a note because what I'll do is I'll cut a whole one side first and then I'll come back and start on the other side and work my way back around. And a tip too, you can always leave the bangs longer and shorten them up after the fact, which might be something that I do. So I'm gonna bring this back to kind of in the middle of that whole section and I'm coming up at a slight angle and I'm angling my fingers forward and we're just point cutting into that top. So you wanna come in where your bottom base piece is and just point cut into that. So again, you come straight up twisting and cut into those pieces. So now because we are doing a traveling guide, I'm gonna be rounding with the head as I go. So I'm gonna take my next section here. So instead of directing this back to the center, I'm gonna round with the head. So instead of coming here, we're coming to the center of our section, coming up, twist. I can see all that hair of my guide 
and cut. Next section. If you wanted to preserve a little bit more length in the front, you could angle ever so slightly forward if you wanted to. That's personal preference, but for this, I'm gonna keep it center with where my part is, or the section I should say. So come up, twist, look for that guide. You wanna make sure you're taking small enough sections to see very clear through to your guide. And you're just gonna continue doing this literally all the way around the head. So you'll see how much length here we're removing along the front for our face frame. Come straight up, twist, find your guide. Let me grab that again. I can see my guide forming in there, pointing up. My shears are straight up and cut. And then as you let your section out, you see the flow of the layers there. So this is a very much more simplified version than the original butterfly cut I did, I think it was last year. Um, the way I'm doing this one, I would not recommend on really fine hair types, just because you do lose a lot more weight and length here in the front of the face. Um, so I would stick to the other version I have. And even that you might need to modify depending on the density of the client's hair. I see my guide here. Twist, cut. Fine side of that comb, get some nice tension. Always look for that guide. I can't express that enough. So with this cut, you're gonna have a nice swoop going here. So the front are the wings, the back is that body and it's gonna come into a point. So after we get all of the layers cut is when I'll go back in through and skim the perimeter and perfect that. And as you're lifting in those longer pieces, you might need to adjust and take two sections that's personal preference, but if you don't take two sections, you always just will grab the piece maybe twice. So to demonstrate that, I'm gonna come in and take my top part first, so all that's left out. Still coming straight up, really twist up, cut. I'm gonna take the next bottom half, all the way up, and cut following your guide. And sometimes I'll come in and just lightly point cut each section. I tend to do this as I move to the back. But you can already see how much shorter it is through here and we're getting some length in the back. So this cut is very repetitive in the sense that you're literally just taking the same exact type of section all the way around the head and just going straight up with it. All that hair, straight up. I think I already cut that piece. So we're basically at the middle of the head here. So now I'm gonna come in and do this other side and we will meet at our center. And then you're coming straight up from the center of your section. And the same exact thing you did before. So find that guide and cut. See my guide. And 
If you are unfamiliar with what a traveling guide is versus a stationary guide or why you might do one or the other, let me know in the comments if that's something that you're confused on and let me know if you would like a video on that topic. That way I can demonstrate for you. I would do one side of the head with a traveling guide, one side with a stationary guide. So that way you can see the visual difference. So this is a great cut too for in salon because it doesn't require, I feel like quite as much time is other variations for doing this cut. It's pretty simple. So it's a good time saving haircut, but this is a cut that is ideal for people who wanna see a lot of movement. They don't mind losing some of the weight around their face and they like that kind of V angled look going through the back. So it's very specific haircut to say the least. up see that's too big of a section i'm having a hard time seeing my guide not listening to my own rules So we still have a lot of length left. It definitely needs some length removed for sure. But before I do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to the front and I'm gonna stand behind the client. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go across, I need to respray her. I'm gonna come across the top and I'm just gonna bring everything straight up and just lightly skim over the top cut anything that's poking out to make sure we have nice even layers. This is a great way to cross check. And I'm gonna work my way through the back. And then I'm gonna do it along her side. I'm gonna keep this at an angle though as I check. And you can see that lining up nicely there. So along the sides, I will angle it, like I said, cause I'm not trying to take away any more length. I just wanna make sure it flows. And then before cutting any of our perimeter, I'm just gonna come in with big sections, almost like I'm doing a traditional layer. And I'm just gonna skim through, because as you'll notice, as you're pulling your hair up this way, when you go to let it down, you're gonna see that it naturally curves. So I'm just coming out and I'm curving along with it, making sure it flows nice. And I'm just taking sort of bigger pieces too for this part. I'm not being quite as nitpicky because I know we've already cut so much of our shape. You basically just wanna see if you can find any pieces that are like wah wah. A little bit in here. So yeah, this side of town, I need to cut into that more. I'm gonna come back to her middle part. Okay, so we're back to our center part. Respritz if you need to. And now what we're gonna do is connect the front to her back length before we dry. So I like to respritz to keep it nice and even. You get more control. So we're gonna kind of sort of do it like you would do any basic face framing. With a butterfly, I will say it's still more of a disconnect, um, the front through the back. You wanna see almost like, like I said earlier, the front are the wings, the back is the body, and you are meant to have a little bit of a disconnect there. So you could blend it in more. That's all personal preference. Like myself, I'm like, connect, connect. 
but for the purposes of this, I'll leave it a little disconnected. So you can see here how short it is. There needs to be a little bit more blending right in here, and then we're just gonna keep gliding it down towards the back. So what you would do, start at that face frame. And I like doing it this way where I cut all my layers first because you've removed so much more weight and thickness that it's a lot easier to run through the hair. So I'm coming straight down with the hair. And I'm just gonna glide into that. And I'm gonna bring this kind of towards me more so. You can see all of that length and just glide into that. And I'm gonna do that on the other side first to create my point and then see if I need to remove more length. Okay, so you can see that shape forming here and we've got some in the middle that the length definitely needs to be removed. So what I like to do is I just grab this middle and I'll continue to angle down into that little tail. And you could shorten it up if you want. I'm gonna leave it on the longer side for now and see how it looks after I get it dry. I can always remove more length. She looks weird with no shoulders. So I would stand behind the client in salon at this point and be bringing everything to the back center to make sure it lines up. And then I'm gonna get her styled. For her blow dry, I am using L'Oreal Techniarch's Transformer Texture Paste. This is a great working paste to create a little extra hold and bounce throughout the hair. And then I'm using my Cricut 390 brush to create all that movement. So we're gonna see that bend. And I'm using my Dyson as well, which is one of my favorite blow dryers to use in salon. It is a very high price point. So I've been testing out different dryers to find a lower price point for you guys for recommendations of one that I really love at a fraction of the cost of Dyson. So I'm just gonna finish her blowout and then I'll show you what she's looking like. She looks good. Okay, so here we have our butterfly. These pieces never wanna stay separate on a mannequin. So much more movement and shape than in my original one. Again, because we did that traveling guide all through the hair. So you could lightly come in and texturize if need be, but a butterfly cut is meant to be a lot more softer of a look where if you over texturize it, it can kind of get that more shag feel. And because we did do shorter layers, I don't want to over texturize it because I don't want it to have that feel over a butterfly. So you would just skim through, see how the layers are falling. And then I want to show you guys what is the disconnect that is sometimes what drives me crazy with this cut? You're supposed to have a slight disconnect. So we've got all of our shorter pieces in here and it glides back into the back. Personally, I would like to cut more length here, but I'm gonna leave it and I want you guys to tell me if you think you would leave the length or if you would wanna remove it. Again, it's all personal preference, but I wanna put her center to the camera. So you have what is your wings? are our sides and they glide back in to the body of the butterfly. So it is supposed to have a slight disconnect. You can modify it, but just to show you guys. And then from the front, again, we have our wings flapping in the wind and then our body back through here. But it did come out great. You could soften it up a little bit more if you wanted, but it is meant to have that kind of separation here if you're trying to stick to a true butterfly. So I'm gonna get her officially styled and we'll get you guys out of here.
Okay, here we have our finished and final look of our butterfly haircut. Again, this one has much more movement and flow all throughout the hair as we did a traveling guide versus the stationary guide I did in my original butterfly cut. So this is ideal for people who want a little bit more movement, maybe more weight removed around their face as you get much more shorter pieces along the face, but you go through flowing into that back to have that nice body of our butterfly haircut. All products used in today's video will be left in the description below as well as the pinned comment. I so hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you on the next one.